immortality and concept is a kind of weird thing. Like, is it the ability to respawn or to just not die? Anyway, in the game called Minecraft, they have servers, and one of those servers is called Hypixel. And Hypixel has a mini game called Skyblock, and in that mini game, it feels like you have to be immortal for everything. Maybe the stupid mythological event mobs just like kill you because you accidentally upgrade your griffin too much. Or in the most popular case, dungeons, where in the new floor, people have been switching tanks. Almost as fast as people in floor 5 switching the berserker, but eh, I don't really care. But as a tank main in Overwatch, I, I was thinking like, hey, how can I be invincible in this game? Now at first, I wanted super heavy armor, just because I thought, hey, a bunch of EHP basically means I'm invincible, but I thought that was too lazy and I can't stretch that to like a 5 minute video, so I'm not counting that. And I was like looking, and I found one reforge that might actually make this possible. The undead reforge. Basically, it gives you 2% less damage from undead mobs, and you can not stack it, meaning that you can get around 8% less damage. Plus, the Monster Raider set is a thing, which gives you 35 less damage, plus 35 more damage. Now, if you do some simple math, you'll get 43% of no damage. 43% is really close to 50, and if you had 50% no damage taken, along with the health and defense, you're practically invincible. Plus, the Skeleton and Guardian chest plate gives you, like, four extra hits as well. I was thinking that I'm, I was going to become invincible. didn't happen because then I realized that the Monster Raider set gives out barely any defense or health, meaning that the 50% boost barely does anything. <laughs> now I'm glad that I grinded for Tara 4 like a couple months ago and not today. Uh... Now the defense and HP for Monster Raider set didn't wasn't like the reason why it sucked. It was because most mobs in dungeons are like NPCs, and sometimes they don't count as withers or undead, meaning that they deal a bunch of damage to you, and that the 50% boost just doesn't want to work. So I was thinking, and then I remember the blue well pet glitch. So basically, a couple months ago, if you got a rare blue well pet, it gave out like, I, I think it was like, 30 defense for every like 0.02 HP and the more you level it up actually <laughs> the worse it got and when you paired it with massive farmer it gave you like godlike amounts of EHP so I was wondering because they patched it if I were to get like a level 100 legendary one to see if that actually gave an enough defense to get rid of the 40k negative defense buff that Mastiff has. So I got some goons, and uh, I kind of just got Wolf 4. I mean, it didn't really cost anything. I got all my money back, but it did give me Carpal Tunnel, so eh. I was ready to use the Blue Well Pet, but I realized that something was wrong. I say before with Mastiff Armor, you get negative 40,000 defense, and I had a little over 30,000 health, and then I realized, hey, the blue well pet, like, it gives a fraction of the health towards defense, and I have more negative defense than HP. Even, even if I were to get one defense per one HP, I'd still be in negatives. Then I realized that, hey, I forgot that zero existed, and then I, I realized that it's not that I did my math wrong, it's just that you shouldn't really calculate things at 3 a.m especially when you, you'll read things wrong. So basically like an hour of my life was wasted and I got a carpet tunnel, which isn't a very good trade. Then I was looking at sponge armor. See there's an exploit where if you like take off your helmet and put it back on, you'll get double defense like each time you press it and you can get like millions of defense, right? 
Someone already did it, but I was willing to do it. But then I realized that, hey, the sponge armor, barely anyone's selling it, and I'm not like, I don't have enough sponge collection to even craft the armor, so I can't even buy it from the bazaar. Then I realized that they probably patched it, and then that dream quickly just fell apart, which, I mean, looking back on it, it looked dumb, so I'm, I'm glad that happened. And I was just doing dungeons, you know, like, I wanted to get, like, higher catacombs levels, so I was just playing, you know. Then I realized in the dungeons hub, quite a few people have the Bonzo Mask. Now, the Bonzo Mask is used by, you know, a bunch of newbie players because I'm pretty sure you just have to complete floor one, and it basically gives you a second life, you know, reviving yourself uh, after getting killed, you know, getting full HP, which basically means that you're immortal, but it has a 300 second cooldown. So then I was, you know, like, seeing if, like, oh, the Bonzo Fragments, to see if those, like, increase the cooldown. I mean, I was willing to pay for some shrooms to upgrade them, but it didn't do anything. Now, I was looking at my essence guide to see if stars worked, but then something caught my eye. The Spirit Mask, a pretty useless <laughs> dungeons item that you could buy for the Dark Auction, and that people classically overbid. Now, the Spirit Mask is actually, like, a little bit worse than the Monzo Mask. I think it has, like, a hundred less defense, but that's it. But other than that, the cooldown for its ability is only 30 seconds long. Sure, you don't get healed, but, I mean, I'm a healer, so I, I think I already have that <laughs> problem sorted out. So I bought the only recombobulated Spirit Mask for only 2 mil, which is actually pretty cheap, but, eh, someone probably just didn't want it. So instead of Super Heavy, because I realized early on that Super Heavy isn't very good, now, it gives you defense, but it gives you barely any uh, HP. And HP actually contributes more to your EHP than defense. Meaning that, uh, <laughs> it gives around like the same amount of EHP as my normal dungeon set. And it does less damage, basically making it useless. So I tried it out in dungeons. Sure, I was frail, but the second wind always saved me. Plus, the cooldown was only 30 seconds, meaning that he gets saved by this a ton in a dungeon. So even though uh, I don't like super heavy armor, I still use a chest plate because a bunch of chest plates cost like a bunch of money. So I use that for defense. I use spirit boots for HP and strength, and I use zombie knight leggings for strength. And then I have the ultimate combo for defense, health, strength, and immortality. Out in a dungeons match. Uh, Usually, when the second one saves me, instead of healing, I just run away. Which, I mean, it always works for every single mob, except for the mythological mobs. I'm not mad about the guy construct. I'm not mad. I'm just built different, you know? Let me show you how to scratch it. Destiny still arrives.